All right, we're done with that for the night. <laughs> so I was hopeful, all right? I did get it moved, but I'm not gonna tear up a four-wheeler over it, especially a, a borrowed one. We did get it moved though, look. That's where she was. We rolled it over by tying to the root, but uh, that's just a little bit too much. It's all right. I got, I got options, I'll, I'll figure it out. It ain't gotta go that far, right down yonder way. But I was talking to my sister earlier, and I forgot to share a story. Uh, actually, that didn't necessarily apply to her, but talking to her reminded me of it. So Yopon are everywhere out here, as are cedars and pine saplings and every kind of scrub brush you can think of. But as I came through with my axe and limb knockers, I decided to uh, spare a Yopon tree for um, various reasons. Man, look at that sunset. I'm sorry. It just... You can't see it. Anyway, I can't. That's all that matters, right? Anyway, so I spared a yopon tree, and uh, it already kind of had a nice shape. There it is. Well, I guess I got to go on the other side. Nothing beats the sunset, right? Let's see. Eh, well, it'll bush out a little better. Anyway, so when I was living in Waco, and uh, we owned a home on Hawthorne Drive, and across the street was a... Uh, an older bachelor gentleman, good man, his name was Tommy. And uh, he kept his yard immaculate. And I'm talking about the flowers were beautiful, the I mean, everything was just beautiful. And uh, we enjoyed sitting out on the front porch and um, watching the sun go down. And we'd go over and converse with him from time to time and he with us. And I'll never forget one day I was about to leave for work and I looked over and he had a brand new tree planted in his beautiful San Augustine yard. So that was a big deal for him to dig a hole in his San Augustine yard. And I walked over because I knew the tree and I'm like, what is going on here? And I said, hey, Tommy, what you got there? He said, man, I just got a brand new, beautiful tree. I'm like, yeah. I said, that's a Yopon. He said, yep. And I got it on sale. I said, so you bought it? He said, yep, sure did. I said, got it on sale, huh? Can I ask what you paid for it? A hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. And it was half the size of this one. And I'm, <laughs> I immediately thought of Memo's old place right where I'm at. I'm thinking, man, I need to go to Memo's and dig up every Yopon tree on there. I'd be a millionaire because they're just scrub brush out here. So in his honor, and he'll never probably see this video, but, uh, I'm gonna dub this Yopon, and I'm gonna shape it, and it's right by the lane, and it'll, it'll be here. That's Tommy, y'all, meet Tommy. See Tommy? I don't know if you can see it. There's Tommy. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's cool, $100 for a Yopon tree. Man, I'd say all you want for 10 bucks a, a root. Just saying. All right, so the tree won for tonight, because uh, I'm gonna stand down. But I did get it moved. Well, let me turn this around. All right, that's where it was, and it's obviously decayed. But I'll let it win tonight. I know it's it's too wet for even fire. That's a big old tree. Look at that tree. Here, Jordan, hold this real quick. I want them to. This tree, I can't even imagine what all it's seen. Let me just give. You, I'm I'm a little guy. I mean, I'm not like 500 pounds or anything. But. Do I make this tree look big or what? No, there's beautiful, beautiful oak trees out here. And um, this one kind of holds a special place in my heart because knowing Memo sat in that kitchen window, or sat, she washed dishes in that kitchen window looking out over her place and knowing the stories of her faith, I guarantee you she was staring at that tree praying for me and my family and all of my siblings and aunts and uncles. So that's kind of a cool thing to think about. It's been there a long, long time. But uh, it's kind of good to see it again instead of having all that junk all around it. Right? 